It's Columbus Day, and a new study among college students finds that 79% of them support getting rid of Columbus Day, renaming it Indigenous People Day. I want to bring in Eduardo Naret. Uh, he's CampusReform.org digital reporter. Eduardo, uh, you know, I, I think we've been trending this way for a long time, but I did not know the number was as high as uh, 79 80%. It's disappointing. Look, the Leadership Institute's campus reform has been covering this trend for a number of years now, but just last week we saw this at campuses across the country. So, for example, Notre Dame is removing a Christopher Columbus mural from their campus. Vanderbilt U uh, University is taking the opportunity today on Columbus Day to teach students about white cam cannibalism. And what it shows is, is that our colleges and universities and our students are attempting to erase parts of history they don't like. It's historical revisionism and it's disgusting. White cannibalism? Yeah, they, they, want to, they want to talk about the negative aspects of Christopher Columbus. And look, nobody celebrates Christopher Columbus Day because they think he was a perfect person or because they think the explorers and the, col the colonists were great people. Columbus Day was meant to signify an important event in human history where we discovered the new world. And if educators want to take that time to contextualize history and to talk about the good and the bad that Christopher Columbus brought, that's fine. But they don't seem to want to be doing that. They only want to disregard what he achieved, and they only want to talk about the negative things that occurred after the fact, the treatment of native peoples and things of that nature which again should be talked about but you don't have to do it at the expense of Christopher Columbus well some people are saying though that he didn't necessarily that you can't really discover something if people already lived there like it wasn't you know I think that you know that's where the some of the criticism comes in is that well you had native people who lived in, in this place and that Columbus quote-unquote discovered it you just mentioned that what do you say when that when you hear that kind of pushback well, again, people lived here, but it marked an important event in human history. Look at what happened after Europe and what happened to the New World because of what Columbus discovered. That never would have happened if it was just the native people who lived here all that time. And again, you know, the contributions that indigenous people have to this hemisphere, to, to history, to the culture of this, this uh, part of right. the world, should be recognized. Right. But we don't have, history is not a binary choice. You don't have to pretend that Columbus didn't exist and that he didn't discover the new world just to talk about the native people. We should use this day to talk about the good and the bad of both. Well, trending on Twitter right now is, is only Christopher, so people are putting their uh, ideas on who the only Christopher yeah. we should be celebrating today <laughs> is. Some interesting choices on there. Eduardo, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hey, we're